Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the We All Juggle Knives channel and my review of this, the Thrunite TH01 headlamp. And for your viewing pleasure in the background for this video, we have my collection of Enzo knives. This is a, a company in Finland, although some of the folders are made in Taiwan for Enzo, but nonetheless, a Finnish company. We've got some flat grinds, like full flat grinds, and some Scandi grinds. I really like this company. This knife is an Enzo Trapper 95, and you know, when people ask me, what mid-sized knife, mid-sized fixed blade do you use for bushcraft? Most often I use this knife. So in the text description box, I'll include a full list of what these are, and any of these that are currently still available, there'll be a links list there too. All right, here's a closer look at the light. So as you can see, it's got a top switch, although if you're wearing it as a headlamp, suppose that's a side switch, that's a charging port cover, so you can recharge the battery in the light, right? and it's got an orange peel reflector. Now the light comes with this head strap, right? So it, it's all adjustable, right? So you can use it as a headlamp. It also comes with an extra uh, mounting bracket, extra o-rings and an extra charging port cover and it's got a recharging cable and here are the stats for the light so as you can see it's got five brightness levels and one special mode which is SOS right you can see the run times there as well uh, maximum lumens in turbo 1500 right and maximum beam distance 126 meters so to turn the light on you just press the switch to turn it off you press it again once it is on, you can cycle through low, medium, and high by uh, just holding, or pressing and holding. Let's do that now. All right, to get to turbo, double tap. Wow. All right, and to get to the SOS mode, triple tap. All right, warning, it's going to flash SOS. Now to shortcut to the Firefly mode, you just, hold on, you press and hold from off, it's a uh, ultra low mode, there you go. Now this takes an 18350 rechargeable lithium ion battery to get at it, just unscrew that there, and this is the battery that it comes with. Now as you can see, that battery that it comes with is only a little bit longer than a 16340, right, but look at the difference in capacity right 650 and then this one 1100 right so approaching double the capacity for only a tiny bit of extra length you get much more endurance and that is really just why this type of battery is good and this light has been designed specifically to exploit this type of battery in order to recharge that battery in the light just plug in the charging cable into the charging port and then any USB power source, that is a power bank, right? And as you can see, it's glowing red underneath the switch. That indicates it's recharging. When it is fully charged, that will glow blue. Okay, at this time I'm going to roll in my outside testing and demonstration footage with this light, and then we'll come back for final thoughts. All right, YouTube, we're out on the testing board with this headlamp light. This is the low mode. Let's cycle through the modes the brightness levels. But right, that's the high mode. Let's go turbo. Wow. Yeah, that's quite a bright turbo mode for such a small headlamp. I mean, that's crazy. Oh, step down. Yeah, it does step down pretty quickly, as you see. All right, let me show you the firefly mode. All right, that's the firefly mode. It's an ultra low mode. All right, warning, we're gonna do um, some flashing lights with the SOS mode. And that is flashing SOS. And again, this is the high mode, and let's do turbo one more time and see how long it, it might step down pretty quickly. Wow, yeah, it stepped down almost immediately. Okay, YouTube, I'm out on the road with this through night headlamp. I'm going to demonstrate it a little differently. Because it is a headlamp, I'm trying to think of practical, uh, you know, more realistic things you would do with it. So let's say you broke, you, let's say your bike breaks down on an abandoned country road, right? This light you see, 
This is all from the headlamp. There are no other lights. There are no other lights on this road, right? So this light you see, this is all from the headlamp. So if your bike broke down, if your car broke down, whatever vehicle you had, and now you have to fix it hands-free, my hands are free, all right. My one hand is holding the camcorder, but aside from that, you know, my hands would be free to frickin' fix this bike or to, you know, to fix your truck, to fix your car, to fix your boat, even your spaceship. All right, maybe not that, but you see my point. Headlamps are very practical, right? They, they free up your hands to do some work. All right, here I am just walking down this road. And again, I want you to see if you were hiking at night or a breakdown and you just had to walk, this is what you would, this is kind of what you would see. That's from the headlamp. It's on my frickin' head. You know, later I'm going to go down to, uh, I'm going to go down to a trailhead and, and again, we'll do a little bit of night hiking because I think that night hiking, you know, night hiking, night camping, uh, bugging out, fixing your vehicle at night, stuff like that. That's what I think a headlamp is for, right? So I'm not going to demonstrate this on like the freaking soccer field because that's not like really what it's for. It's not meant to like throw light across a field. It's meant to uh, just give you, you know, light with your your hands free. All right, so you see that is lighting up where I'm walking. So like if there was like some slippery ice or something right there, this would let me see it, you know, so it's a safety thing. Oh, you want to see what I look like, by the way? Here, let me, uh, yeah, that's me. That's me in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> in the middle of nowhere testing out this uh, freaking headlamp. Okay, YouTube, this is the second part of my realistic demonstration of this headlamp. I'm at the trailhead and we're just going to walk down this trail a little, a little ways, you know. So the headlamp is on my head and this is how it lights up the trail in front of me. You know, make sure you know where you're stepping, especially when it's icy like this. Now to either side of me, there is water. That is a lake. It's a lake. Like I said, I think this is a realistic use of the light, hiking at night. The great thing about this light, well, got to be careful of some ice here. The great thing about this uh, headlamp, it's light. You could hike for hours and hours and it's not, you're not going to feel it. Like, yeah, I could see going on a very long night hike with this headlamp because it's just so light, it doesn't really feel like I'm wearing anything except, you know, it kind of just feels like you're wearing a, wearing a hat. All right, well, this trail is getting icy and treacherous, but you get the idea, you know, you could go, you could go on and on. All right, YouTube, we are back. So I definitely have mixed feelings about this light. Let's go over the positives and the negatives. The positive parts are that it is lighter and more compact than many other headlamps. Uh, you don't really feel it. it, it feels comfortable. It just, at most it feels like you're, you're wearing a hat, you know? It doesn't weigh you down. I could see hiking long distances at night with this headlamp. Now the other benefit that I already alluded to for only a little bit more length compared to a 16340, you get a lot more capacity, right? Now, compared to an 18650, it's a lot less capacity. However, this is much smaller and lighter. That battery is just much smaller and lighter than an 18650. So what I'm saying, it's, it's a good compromise battery, and it's good to have lights that take advantage of that. But now, what are my criticisms of this light. Well, two main criticisms. It seems not able to hit the turbo mode with the battery that was included. Um, if, if the battery is drained even a little bit, like maybe even 5%, 10%, 
then as soon as I go to turbo mode, it will kick down almost immediately. I think that's a problem with the battery, not with the light, because the light wasn't even, it wasn't even hot. It's not like it was overheating when it stepped down, right? So I think that battery just um, cannot support the turbo mode. Right now, I'm not sure who Thrunite has making their batteries for them, but I definitely think Thrunite should uh, complain to whoever that is and get that sorted out promptly. Now, I don't even use turbo modes on headlamps when they're on my head because who wants a really, you know, hot light right next to your head? So, but even though I don't use the turbo mode unless the light is in my hand, uh, it's still is a problem if the light can't hit its turbo mode. And the other critique is uh, not really as serious, it's just that when I try to put that through the, uh, the ring holder to put it in, uh, you know, to use it as a headlamp, that button sticks out a lot, so it's kind of hard to install it in the rings without accidentally turning the light on. Now, Maybe with practice, uh, that would get better, but that's just something that I noticed. I think I, I accidentally uh, flash-blinded myself briefly a couple times taking this in and out of the rings. All right, but, you know, that can be a problem with a lot of headlamps, but, you know, that particular switch, it kind of sticks out very prominently, so maybe a little more of a problem with this light. All right, so... It's got good points and it's got bad points. Oh, one, one good point is that you see the, it's centered, right? Most uh, headlamps, right? It, it's going to be a right angle style headlamp and the light is not exactly centered when it's on your head. So that design, it's centered. So that's another plus. So what is my final conclusion? Honestly, I prefer the other through night headlamps that I have reviewed and also some of the WowTac headlamps. I just prefer those. Yeah, part of it is because of the buggy turbo mode, but really, even if that worked, um, I just prefer the greater capacity of the 18650 headlamps. And I don't really mind the weight. Maybe I'm just used to using headlamps, but I don't mind a heavier headlamp, all right? So me personally, I would go with one of the uh, 18650 headlamps that I've previously reviewed. And I will include links to those video reviews and to um, those on Amazon and all through nights on Amazon as well. And you can just uh, browse around and, you know, find something that works for you. Well, all right, YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you were mesmerized by my background cutlery right there. Remember, I will include links to those as well for all the knife nuts. All right, this has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.